What up YouTube? How's it going? Welcome back to another anime reaction. Today we're going to be reacting to Black Lagoon episode 8. So in the last episode, basically <laughs> Rock and Revy got sent to do errands and shit like that. And it turns out towards the end, like the main thing about this episode, the last episode was they basically got into an argument, right? And Rock basically stood up for himself. And you can see like Revy, you know, she kind of blushed. She kind of got interested in Rock because you can tell at the end they kind of had that indirect kiss with the cigarettes, right? Which is pretty cool to suit too. I can't wait to see their relationship go on more and more and more but you see the errands i think they went to a strip club or like a brothel i think though it was either a strip club or a brothel right then they went to the church of violence right where rock basically negotiated which was pretty cool because he was on his light yagami shit and i'm only saying light yagami because i know the voice actor brad swell he voiced light yagami in the death note dub right so that's what i'm saying he's on his light yagami shit but he negotiated and basically got the guns for the black lagoon where Revy she was about to like shoot him right well, maybe she would have shot it. I'm not sure because, you know, they do have a contract. It is business, right? But overall, yeah, that was pretty awesome to see Rock, like, go big brain. It's always cool when smart characters use their brain instead of, like, violence all the time. It's It just shows that different aspect of it, and I really enjoy it. So if you enjoyed that last reaction, and if you enjoyed this reaction, like, subscribe, share, comment. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, too. I'm, stream I'm streaming Scarlet Nexus, so you like japanese oriented games and you like twitch and you like gaming hit me up the links will be in the descriptions and let's get right into this reaction i guess in the ocean <clears throat> this is a salvage ship i'm guessing yeah it's a salvage ship rocks on it not so long ago i was a businessman in tokyo now i work for a shipping company in the south china sea okay are accounted for now could i please get you to sign this for me what are they salvaging that's the question huh what's going on Excuse here Excuse me could somebody please sign this guns there's nothing particularly special about this little shipping company though at times we do brush up against the law to get the job done Everything under control, Rock. Oh, is that from the Church of Violence? And I even got them to sign for it. We're also okay. transporting additional cargo for them. Did you get Oh. It? About that. I, uh, well, yeah, I did receive that shipment from them. Is there a problem? Wait. Wait, let me guess. Is he worried about that little cargo we're taking back with us? Looks that way. Huh. Is that a bagel? After a bagel all, sandwich. A What's wrong with it, though? Are you sure... He's it. Once a we kid in Hot Yai, we're handing him over to some buyer designated by the Colombian Mafia. Revy, put him in a cabin for now. Fine. All right, let's go, kid. Damn, you're dragging his ass. You shouldn't be doing. Whoa. Over here. But I got pizza for him. He looked like he was gonna puke or something. You can tell he's still an amateur. Oh. We're nothing more than delivery boys. All we do is take shipments to their designated <clears throat> destinations. That's all we do. That's our responsibilities end. Understand? I got it. You don't have to worry about me. I won't get too attached. To oh. Oh shit! Just threw it in Revy's face. You're lucky you're not a doll. She would have like killed you. Just for a bit longer, but we are going to be traveling together. Maybe it's too much to ask, but could you stop throwing food at me? You can't fool me. Seen much to you since I'm helping with this kidnapping. You're not anything like that mean tattooed lady or that big boy. <laughs> well, you damn. You seem like a normal person. Because I am. I guess. But the truth is, I'm really just a crook in training. The man who put me on the boat didn't tell me where I'm going or what's going to happen to me. Oh. They're planning to sell me off somewhere, aren't they? Oh, so you a slave? No. There's the head of one of the great 13 families of South America. The oh. The patriarch of the Lovelace household. He is Diego Jose San Fernando Lovelace. Diego, I'm we're just going by that. Only son. When I'm old enough, I'll become the next head of the Lovelace family. Well, kid. 
Hmm. So where'd you hear the name Lovelace anyway? For your information, it's the least noble house of the 13 families. Uh. Although, that does make it a little more believable. So what if things haven't been going too well for us lately? We're still managing to get by, just like we always do. My father is a man of good character. He never got involved in anything illegal. Business That's what you think. Now, but the plantations were stable. Until the mafia came, that is. They came one day and tried to force my father to sell our land. A geological survey showed that we had lanthanides there. When my father refused to sell, we saw what they were really like. They came to our farms and harassed us. But Holy shit. To be intimidated by them. Don't tell me they killed him. That's how I ended up here. Oh. Lanthanides? It's also called rare earth. Why don't you tell me what else you know about rare earth? You know, lanthanides. Lutetium atomic number 71. That's what oh. was found on our land. It's used as a fixing agent for ceramics. You can make a lot of money off that. This household has a dog. About that dog. Tell me what you know. That's oh. an easy question. That dog became a member of our family six years ago. His name is Laszlo, and he's a white Volpino. Not cool. I don't like how this feels. We need more uh, information. Yup. After we dock, I think we should wait before handing him over to the Mafia. It's obvious the cartel lied to us. If they were lying about him, it can only mean there's going to be trouble. Rock. Hmm. Uh, don't take pity on our yep. cargo. Nah, you just hate him. But, as long as our company sees a profit, then there's really no problem. Understand? Hmm client lied to us i worked in the resource procurement department so i know a lot about rare earth and rare metals and everything he says about the lovelace family checks out i remember seeing a number of reports from our south american division details about their family structure okay very impressive that is so interesting rock aren't you just a brilliant all right chill out Rebby. seriously i think we should put your picture on a fucking employee of the month plaque and hang it up right here that would be nice. Either way, it's still up to Dutch. He gets the final say on this. I just don't get it. The minute they got the kid, they could have demanded a ransom right then, and they would have got what they wanted. Fax. Is there any reason? Slowed it down. Is he gonna take his time? Hmm. Revy, if their pride is staked, then this is gonna be a real hassle, and we definitely don't want any part of that. I think I'm gonna put a little extra insurance on our shipment before we deliver it. Oh. What's a rare cartel with the Lovelace family? Can you dig that up for us? Huh? <laughs> we actually just picked up a job involving the Mali Serrera cartel. Oh. Your timing is impeccable, Dutch. Oh, there's gonna be two jobs in one? But since we're still in the process of setting up our insurance, don't stir things up too much. Well, that's impossible. What, <laughs> Rock? There's one more thing we need to check out before this thing goes any further. I'm talking about Daddy Lovelace. Is he the type who's capable of sending out private troops to rescue his son, or was the kid just bluffing us? I don't think so. Huh. Financially speaking, they can't afford more than one personal servant for the entire household at this point. A servant? What kind? An ordinary housemaid. Uh, so, do you think the maid's gonna rush in to try and save the little prince, or what? Eh, I highly doubt it. The maid? No, no, no. She's a nun. Maid? Nun? Oh, yeah. They all just looking at her. I said I'm just a lonely soul who's come here from South America and I require your assistance. If you could direct me, I'm in search of a place where I can find my fellow countrymen. Might you know of such a place nearby? So, my huh. fellow countrymen, you mean from your country? Yep. Yes, of course. Like an enclave. Sort of like Chinatown, right? You're prepared if you catch my drift. I do not mind. I'll oh. this place if I can find out about my fellow countrymen. I really wouldn't recommend it, sweetheart. Please do not work. <laughs> We're here on dry land. Finally. <laughs> oh shit. Come on. What are you? A schoolyard bully? Don't forget, you used to be a brat once upon a time. Yeah? I don't remember getting paid to babysit. This is a fucking joke. Rev That's for damn sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Whatever you say, Revy. He'll be asking him. Massa, yeah. you like your <laughs> Massa. I sure hopes you like it. Hell, you can be just like
like old Black Joe. Must be nice to be surrounded by dozens of servants all day. Ha! Like I told you before, my family only has the one servant. She's a maid, and her name's Roberta. Roberta. But she's not very good at cleaning or doing chores. Or I might find. Her. Damn. She can't clean or do chores, but still, Roberta's a lot stronger than you are, and she's gonna save me. Oh, <laughs> right, stronger than Reppy. <laughs> That's gotta be the funniest thing I've heard all day. <laughs> she's not gonna throw a fucking teacup at me, is she? <laughs> yeah, I feel like she's deadly. <laughs> then I'll believe anything you say, kid. Even if you said Jesus wrote a dropper across Route 6. I ever did. Hmm. The moment she sensed that they were coming to our house, her arms suddenly stiffened. I used every ounce of strength I had in me to try and beat her. But... Damn. Her arm wouldn't move. It was Holy like shit, you see those biceps? All those times, she... Be Oh shit. She broke the shit out that glass. She about to fuck him up? Are oh, they all about to leave? Like this. This isn't good. Ma'am. Comrade Sergeant, take a look at her eyes. Don't you see anything? Oh shit. That is correct, Sergeant. And that's not all. She's one hell of a rabbit dog. He's dressed up like a maid. He's asking all over town where she can find the Colombian Mafia. Wearing this crazy outfit you'd only see in a movie. Any pendejo would remember someone in an outfit like that. Is that a gun in there? you came as it was my intention that you find me you are from the manisareda cartel is that not correct i am a servant of the lovelace family and i have come a long way to be here. very sorry but i will not be able to hold back Please oh sh me. and i hope you enjoy yourselves Roberta! <laughs> holy shit All right, gang, that episode ended with a bang at the end. You basically see Roberta, the maid, basically, like, shoot that gun that's basically embedded into the umbrella. So towards the beginning of the episode, we see LaRock basically just counting crates. But it turns out they're basically uh, carrying weapons, but they're also carrying a kid, too. It turns out his name is Garcia Lovelace. He t he's, like, the heir to one of the fam uh, wealthiest families, I think, 11. 11 wealthiest families and i think it's the lowest one of them all right it turns out they were having a lot of financial troubles right and that's when the mafia came in and stepped in i'm pretty sure I, there wasn't any information about the father right did he die or did he send his kid off right so that information wasn't available i'm going to assume his father's alive he could be dead for all we know it right but you see like Revy's not getting along with the kid she's kind of acting like a bully and shit like that while rock is just trying to probe information and with that they kind of decide what to do with the kid so with the kid they're gonna like they have some insurance policy they sell they call balalaika to do a background check which is smart honestly because you know you're dealing with a kid i think everybody always has the soft spot for a kid because you never want to see that kid in danger overall towards the end you see roberta at the bar right and you see also like um the crew driving in their car and you, you they're basically describing uh Berta's strength right so you would see garcia arm wrestle with her but she would always lose but she did it on purpose because when she like when the mafia was coming she got serious right did you see her fucking biceps that was fucking insane that shit was steel did you see that but it turns out she's a soldier too but we don't have any specifics what kind of soldier she is um what did was she kind of what branch was she in was she a spy there wasn't really much detail in it so i think it'll probably go more detail in the next episode so if you enjoyed this reaction like subscribe share comment follow me on instagram twitter and twitch too i'm streaming scarlet nexus there so if you like scarlet nexus japanese games and you like twitch hit me up all the links will be in the descriptions and i also want to say 
um thank you for 17 subscribers i really appreciate it so love and peace